everyone, Nick here. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'm gonna jump right into today's topic. Whatever you may study in school or whatever your ultimate profession may be, it's my personal belief that you should at least take one computer science class. Computer science is quickly becoming a near universal, inextricable part of our lives, and understanding the ways in which computers and software work, more specifically, their limitations and the impact they have in society, is one of the most important realizations I think we can make today, and thus it serves as a vital part of any type of education. Today's video then is to convince you that like history or math or English, taking a computer science course is worthwhile, because regardless of whether you like or hate it, I guarantee that it will be a tremendous learning experience. The first reason why I think everyone should take a computer science course is because these skills are pretty powerful and unlike popular opinion, they are not unbelievably hard to attain. Computer science is at the intersection of several different disciplines, engineering, math, psychology, the arts, so on and so forth. And so as a result, a well thought out computer science course can integrate problem solving and logic and artistic creativity. They can teach you about efficiency and how to break down a problem into its smallest constituent parts. And this experience proves very valuable, regardless of whether or not you're going to use it after graduation. In a lot of these computer science courses, you will learn to write your own apps and scripts and websites, and as you can imagine, the possibilities are truly endless, regardless of what profession you choose. For example, say you're a biologist trying to write a new DNA analysis tool. Knowing Python or some other quick script writing programming language can really help you. Or on the other side, if you're an art student trying to get into computational photography, then you can build your own website or application or write your own programs to do photo manipulation for you, and the possibilities are truly endless. Something important to understand is that we are living in the digital age. Computer scientists are responsible for designing and theorizing much of the software and hardware that we use day in and day out. And as a result, understanding how it works, at least on a basic level, is super important. By taking one of these courses, you will learn an array of skills that are applicable in a ton of other fields. Examples include working with and writing programs to access internet data, improving your general problem solving, and most importantly, diving into an understanding how a computer works. In a broader sense though, it appears that there's this academic halo that surrounds computer science. I think there's this large misconception that in order to get your hands dirty with it, you need to be some certifiable genius or at least have been coding since you were 12 years old. I think that's a dangerous mentality to have and taking an introductory computer science course is a great way of breaking down that barrier. You will learn that these courses were developed just to help you think in a little bit of a different way and that developing those skills only takes time and effort, not some special ability or baseline of measurable inherent talent. I will end by saying that there is a reason why a lot of universities have slowly started to make computer science classes a part of their core curriculum. And it's because they understand that in the next several years, learning these skills can be applicable not just to a small sector of work, but also a wide array of fields and industries. Regardless, computer science represents an incredible level of human achievement, and I think that on a base level, we should do our part in coming to appreciate it. With that, I will leave you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nikhil. I'm so appreciative of your viewership. If you like this video, let me know down below with a comment, a like, maybe a subscription to the channel. Also follow me on Twitter and other social media platforms where I will be doing a giveaway soon. But most importantly, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.